Have you ever wondered what drives a person to commit a crime of passion? Today, we delve into the case of Jody Arias. Jody Arias, a name that became synonymous with one of the most gripping and high-profile murder cases of the 21st century. A case that unfolded like a sensational novel filled with love, obsession, deceit, and ultimately, a deadly end. Born in the small town of Salinas, California, Jody Arias was an aspiring photographer with a seemingly ordinary life. But beneath the surface, a storm was brewing. A storm that would lead her down a path of destruction. In the summer of 2006, Arias crossed paths with Travis Alexander, a successful motivational speaker, at a conference in Las Vegas. This encounter marked the beginning of a tumultuous relationship that would end in a horrifying crime that shocked the nation. The case of Jody Arias is not just a simple tale of a crime of passion. It is a labyrinthine narrative entwined with elements of psychological manipulation, intense obsession, and a fatal attraction that led to a brutal murder. On June 4, 2008, Travis Alexander was found dead in his home in Mesa, Arizona. He had been stabbed multiple times, shot, and left for dead. The prime suspect? None other than his ex-girlfriend, Jody Arias. This case garnered widespread media attention, with every twist and turn broadcasted to the public. It was a media circus, with Arias at the center, Hear her every move scrutinized and analyzed. The public was captivated, and the media was relentless, as the trial of Jody Arias unfolded in the national spotlight. As we unravel the details of this case, we'll discover a chilling narrative of love, obsession, and a deadly end. Today, we take a deep dive into the enigma that is Jody Arias, exploring the intricate details of her relationship with Travis Alexander, the events leading up to his murder and the subsequent trial that left a nation in disbelief. The story begins with a seemingly innocent romance. This tale of love and loss starts with two young hearts, Jody Arias and Travis Alexander. Their paths crossed in the most ordinary of circumstances. At a conference in Las Vegas, Nevada, their eyes locked and the world around them faded. It seemed like a typical love story, a chance meeting that blossomed into an intense relationship. Travis, a motivational speaker and insurance salesman, was known for his charismatic personality and strong work ethic. Jody, an aspiring photographer, was drawn to his charm and energy. She was captivated by his ability to captivate others. They were two individuals, each with their own dreams and ambitions converging into a single path. Their bond was immediate and potent, a whirlwind romance that swept them both off their feet. Jody was smitten by Travis's charm, his fervor for life, his unwavering faith. Travis, in turn, was attracted to Jody's vivacious spirit, her zest for life, her unyielding passion for photography. As their relationship deepened, they shared moments of joy and moments of sorrow, laughter and tears, love and heartache. They were inseparable. Their lives intertwined in a dance of love and companionship. Their connection seemed unbreakable, their love story akin to those seen in romantic novels and Hollywood movies. However, as with any story, there were underlying currents that were not as visible on the surface. The sparkling facade of their relationship hit a more complex reality. Beneath the surface of their passionate romance, there were signs of obsession and deceit. Jody's infatuation with Travis began to take a darker turn. Her love for him morphed into an obsession that knew no bounds. She began to exhibit signs of extreme jealousy and possessiveness, characteristics that would later play a pivotal role in the tragic turn their relationship would take. But as we'll see, underneath the surface lay a ticking time bomb of obsession and deceit. As their love story unfolded, the initial enchantment gave way to a much darker narrative, setting the stage for a tale of love gone horribly wrong. The love story soon began to take a dark turn. As the pages of this tale turned, the relationship between Jody Arias and her partner began to unravel. The initial spark of attraction that had ignited their love story was slowly being smothered by a growing obsession and an escalating tension. It was as if a seed of darkness had been planted in the fertile soil of their romance, and it was now taking root, growing, spreading its tendrils into every corner of their lives. Arias, once the picture of charm and vivacity, began to display a disturbing level of possessiveness. Her love, initially so warm and inviting, was morphing into an obsession that was both suffocating and alarming. The downward spiral was set in motion subtly, almost imperceptibly at first. A missed call here, an unanswered text there, and a constant need to know his whereabouts. 
But soon, these seemingly innocuous actions snowballed into a pattern of control and manipulation. The relationship was no longer a sanctuary of love and trust, but a battlefield marked by insecurity, jealousy, and fear. Arias's behavior took a dark turn. She began to snoop, to pry, to invade his personal space. She was like a moth drawn to a flame, unable to resist the pull of her obsession, even as it threatened to consume her. Her partner, once the object of her affection, was now the victim of her obsession. The relationship was caught in a downward spiral, a vortex of emotions that sucked them deeper into a world of darkness. The more he tried to pull away, the tighter she held on, her grip like a vice that refused to let go. The tension between them escalated, a ticking time bomb that threatened to explode at any moment. But the warning signs were ignored, the red flags overlooked, the pleas for help unheard. And in this whirlwind of emotions, in this chaotic dance of love and obsession, the stage was being set for a tragic end. This volatile mix of emotions would soon lead to a tragic conclusion. In the summer of 2008, the unthinkable happened. A scene of chilling horror was unveiled that would shake the foundations of the American legal and social system. In the tranquility of Mesa, Arizona, a grisly spectacle of violence was about to unfold in a suburban home. Travis Alexander, a successful motivational speaker and insurance salesman, was found in a scene that seemed straight out of a horror movie. Alexander's lifeless body was discovered in his shower, the victim of a brutal and merciless attack. His throat was slashed from ear to ear, and he had been shot in the head. The sheer number of stab wounds, totaling almost 30, suggested a crime of passion, one fueled by intense rage and hatred. The shocking details of the crime scene painted a macabre tableau. Alexander had been left there for nearly five days before his friends discovered his body. The level of violence suggested a personal attack, not a random act of burglary or home invasion. The brutality of the crime pointed to someone who knew him intimately, someone with a deep-seated rage and a desire to inflict maximum pain. As investigators delved deeper into the case, they unraveled a web of deceit, manipulation, and obsession. They discovered a digital camera in the washing machine attempting to remove any trace of the crime. The recovered photos from the memory card showed Alexander and Arias in intimate poses time-stamped on the day of the murder, followed by hauntingly graphic images of Alexander in his final moments of life. The details were so shocking that they seemed almost unbelievable. The level of premeditation, the overkill, and the attempt to cover up the crime pointed to a cold, calculated mind. Yet the person at the center of this horror was a seemingly innocent and sweet-natured woman, Jody Arias. This gruesome act of violence shocked the nation, but the surprises didn't stop there. The story of Jody Arias and Travis Alexander was just beginning to unravel, leading us into a labyrinth of lies, manipulation, and a shocking revelation of unreleased tapes. Even more shocking than the crime itself were the unreleased tapes of Jody Arias. These tapes, kept under wraps for a significant amount of time, contained chilling conversations and confessions that sent shivers down the spine of anyone who heard them. They revealed a side of Arias that was far removed from the image she projected during the trial. The tapes included Arias discussing her relationship with the victim, her thoughts, her emotions, and most disturbingly, her detailed recounting of the night of the crime. The casualness of her tone, the lack of remorse, and the graphic details she provided were deeply unsettling. It was as if she was narrating a mundane event rather than a brutal crime. These tapes significantly impacted the trial, swaying the jury and the public opinion against Arias. They painted a picture of a manipulative and cold-blooded individual, a stark contrast to the demure woman seen in the courtroom. These tapes shed new light on the twisted mind of Jody Arias, forever changing the narrative of this case. When the gavel finally fell, the courtroom held its breath. The end of a long, grueling trial was at hand. The judge, with a stern face and a heavy heart, declared Jody Arias guilty of first-degree murder. The crowd was a mixture of relief and disbelief, their expressions mirroring the complex emotions that the case had stirred. The sentencing was no less controversial. Arias was handed a life sentence without the possibility of parole. The severity of the punishment sparked heated debates across the nation, with some arguing it was too harsh, while others insisted it was apt for such a heinous crime. The public reaction was equally divided. Some saw Arias as a victim herself, trapped in a toxic relationship. 
Others saw her as a manipulative and dangerous individual. Whichever side you lean on, one thing is certain. The case of Jody Arias has left an indelible mark on the annals of American criminal history. The case of Jody Arias continues to captivate and disturb a grim reminder of the dark depths human obsession can reach.